everybody, welcome back to Wanna Pop Pot. Today we're going to prepare a special recipe because it's totally gluten-free. We are going to prepare together avocado, ham and mozzarella buckwheat crepes. Buckwheat, even if the name tells wheat and grain, it's not wheat and it's not a grain. Basically, it's a seed and comes from a plant that is a kind of cousin to the rhubarb, but even if it's not a grain, you can cook buckwheat like you could any other grain. So you can prepare pancakes, crepes or porridge. And today we are going to prepare together a nice buckwheat crepe. So let's start together our recipe today. We're going first of all to prepare our crepe mix. If you want to prepare your homemade buckwheat flour, it's super easy. Check this video and you can store the flour in the refrigerator for up to three months. We're going to place in a nice bowl the buckwheat flour, the vegetable oil, the three eggs, the milk, the water, and a nice pinch of salt. I'm mixing everything in order to create a nice and smooth mixture. I will need a small non-stick frying pan. I will turn the heat on at low medium and I will just spray some cooking oil on top of my pan. I will pour one small ladle of buckwheat mix in the pan and with a shaky movement I will spread as much as possible my crab all around my pan. I will let the crab cook for two minutes, then I will flip it over on the other side and I will let it cook for another minute. I will place my first crab on a plate and I will keep going creating more or less 16 crabs. It's time to fill our crepe with goodies. I have a nice ripe Hess avocado. I'm going to cut the avocado in half and I'm going to mash the pulp with a fork. I'm taking one crepe and with one small coffee teaspoon, I'm going to cut in the center of the crepe two half moons that they are one and a half inch apart. Then I'm going to fill my crepe with one layer of mozzarella, one layer of ham, and one layer of avocado. And final touch, I'm going to place my two tomatoes where the two cuts are in order to have my frog eyes. Why I really like buckwheat, first of all, is gluten-free, so it's perfect for anybody with gluten allergies. Another good thing about buckwheat is that it's very low in sugar. Also, it's a wonderful source of high-quality proteins. Not only has a kind of nutty flavor that I really like. Today I prepared buckwheat flour crepes, but if you do not have time or if you don't like buckwheat, you can always use a regular flour our tortilla and still prepare this very fun recipe for your little ones. I really hope that you're going to enjoy it like mine did and we're going to see each other next week with another recipe from Buona Pappa and as always Buona Pappa a tutti! Ciao!